peace, love, and light. Yes, hi, my name is Brandy, and welcome to my channel, Be Shield. Before I get started, I have to do a disclaimer, y'all, that I am not a doctor of any sort or a healthcare um, practitioner. Okay, if you have any um, serious ailments, please check with your doctor as far as diabetes, high blood pressure. Um, check with your doctor before starting a new regimen. But now let's jump right into this, okay? I am here to talk to you today about Corovine. Yes, Corovine, this pesky, pesky, known to be pesky vine that just takes over, is highly invasive, takes over the whole yard, grows up to 10 feet tall, is not only medicinal, but also highly edible. Yes, and grows these beautiful pink flowers, okay? Um, you can, as far as eating, you can take the leaves. In some countries, I think it's Thailand, they take the leaves, they batter them. And then after battering them, they fry them and eat them with noodles. And then also in other countries, they use the flowers and put it in omelets and salads and so on. Um, and even the tubers, you dig them up, they can grow up to 10 pounds and from what I understand are edible okay and um, also as far as medicinal back home in St. Thomas growing up we would use the um, flowers and make tea okay we would make um, tea from it and it helps with the cold and the flu so if you have any symptoms cough, sore throat, congestion this plant right here is um it heals that also it's great for um people with diabetes it helps some um, regulate your blood sugar it also if brewed in a tea and you pour it over a wound it helps to heal your wounds faster any deep cuts lacerations burns anything like that it's going to heal your wound faster okay and also it um reduces swelling Okay, so it's anti-inflammatory, very high in antioxidants. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the seed itself, which I am going to um, pick out of one of these flowers here. It has a seed here in the middle. But you can take the seed and you can dry it out. Okay? I don't know if you can see that there. That little seed there, you can dry the seeds, harvest the seeds, dry them, and then they grind it down into a flower and use it in different um, dishes. Okay, so this plant is highly, highly edible and very good for you. Um, it, Yeah, so it helps, again, recap diabetes, high blood pressure. It's also a re pain reliever. It helps relieve pains. It treats colds and flus, um, reduces swellings, it helps close wounds faster, it's anti-inflammatory and anti, and it's also very high in antioxidants, okay? So guys, get yourselves outside, like I picked these from an empty lot, I have some dry, I'm getting ready to dry some more, again, I'm just going to hang them in my window upside down, or yeah, I'm going to just hang it upside down on my window, let them dry. And then um, put them in a mason jar. I have some dry already. But um, yeah, you can definitely dry them and use them in tea. And you know, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. Go outside and pick your medicine. You do not have to rely on westernized medicine and all the crazy side effects. Okay, this plant here. And, it's, and it grows right here in Houston. Okay. I was surprised when I saw them growing. I was like, wow, these grow in Houston too? You know, and hey, it's medicine. And it's food, so there's no reason to go hungry or to be sick. You can take these leaves, like I said, fry it, pair it with some noodles, take those tubers, cook them up, take the seeds, grind them down. But it's time, people, we need to heal ourselves. You are in control of your own health. Do your research, okay? And, um... Yes, go outside, pick the herbs, eat the herbs, heal yourself, and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, 
and um, make sure you comment below tell me if you like to see more videos like this thank you very much for tuning in peace love and light